Hey guys, if you are interested in achieving that sort of clarity and saturation of your game without reshade, then this video is definitely for you. So recently we got a post from PUBG devs regarding new anti-cheat update in which they mentioned that reshade will be blocked, meaning you're not gonna get banned for using it, but you're not gonna be able to start your game either until you're not gonna uninstall that from your PC. So first thing which came to my mind was that Nvidia's experience new feature game filters which should do the job, although it's still in like experimental stage beta kind of stage so it got some minuses which we're going to talk about later i will share with you my filters and my settings which work for me perfectly and game settings since you need to see both and have them the same as i do to get the same effect so i will explain you some choices later on as well um, in order to have this feature you need to have of course nvidia's graphic card and you need to have experimental features ticked in your NVIDIA's experience settings and make sure that your in-game overlay is turned on as well so you're gonna be able to use that in-game. So as you can see in-game right now, um, for me it is really bloomy straight away and not clear. And if you're playing like this, it might be normal for you, but I, I guarantee you, you will see that it's bloomy at the end of this clip. So to change those game filters, which I just did, you need to press Alt F3 by default. Of course, you can change it. And this is my preset. I like it a lot. It is adding extra colors to the game, clearing out things. Things are standing out. There is no bloom. And um, I'm combining it with, don't mind my resolution. It's not like it is. I'm combining it with uh, anti-aliasing on ultra, textures high, and then view distance ultra. Rest is very low. But sometimes I'm playing very low on anti-aliasing. And for that, I got a different preset as well. So I got, I'm running two different presets. And the very first one, it is a bit too crispy, in my opinion, for anti-aliasing on very low. So you, you will see the difference. This one's really crispy. And the other one is slightly less crispy and less colorful. So we'll start with the very first one, which I use mostly. So we got a Vibrance on 90%, then Enhancer on 10%, sharpness we got on 80, clarity on 90, and HDR on 80. Of course, you can add color and details from filters above in there with a little plus. On second one, 75 and 20, and then sharpness is zero, clarity 100, HDR um, on 90, and bloom, of course, zero, because it's adding just kind of bloomish, bluish effect. So that would be that would be it for my settings. Of course, uh, you can play it around and you can just change it by yourself how you like it. But if you have not seen on the beginning that bloomish, bluish effect, what I, which I was talking about, now I will turn it off, and you definitely will see if you watch this video on a full screen. So that's all what I can tell you from my settings. Then the other thing is that. It is quite a cool thing to use. I really like it. And it's replacing, like it's a great replacement for uh, for me. So I don't have to use um, Reshade. And I'm really satisfied with it. Although while using it, I'm, I'm losing like from 5 to 10 FPS. Plus uh, sometimes game might be a bit like a skippy, we can say. I don't know. I don't know is that even caused by using those... Uh, what filters or whatever it is. Some people uh, were talking on Reddit as well that, you know, they got really bad performance. The game is freezing for them after they started using them. So definitely check it out by yourself. For me, it works okay-ish. I got slightly less FPS, but disadvantage of spotting people way better with the settings, in my opinion, is worth those 10 FPS. So yeah, that's that's what I use. That's how it is. And I hope you guys like it. I hope uh, you learned something. And like always, see you guys in the next one.